Grozdova was a member of the Russian Olympic team in 1976. 20 years old, the floor exercise. And Al, at the top of the show, you mentioned performing just for the sheer joy of performing. And this is what Svetlana Grozdova is all about. Here comes a tough tumbling pass, a double full twisting back summy. Svetlana has, has not won an individual medal in world competition. She has only won those gold medals that her team wins. But when she gets on an exhibition tour, she really comes alive because I think that she feels the relationship with the audience, as did Olga Corbett. Now, you might notice the music in the background. Curious to me, I think, Al, Ave Maria. Uh, I look at the balance. Dropping her legs into the splits really gives her more stability there, even though it makes it look more difficult. But Grosdeva feels this reaction that the crowd gets from her work and sort of, sort of feeds on it. And what a pleasure it must be to perform and not worry about the judges, not worry about the scores at all. Of course. Now you might notice this carpeted floor. It's a new floor. It's called a spring floor. There are little tiny springs underneath thousands of them. And it doesn't give the athlete much more lift, but it certainly gives them a greater cushion. Floor exercise can be pretty painful, even though you're on a carpet. And this spring floor has solved a lot of problems. Now, spring-type floors have been used for a long time in competition, but just recently have the American manufacturers come up with one. Now watch this ending. The dismount ends in a handstand. Very, very unique. And listen to that response for Svetlana Grozova. And Al, as you indicated earlier, Svetlana is having a good time.